could say I look very handsome today. All right, here's the, I want to do this blog real fast. Uh, I just want to get coffee. And I had to drive Lauren somewhere, whatever the bullshit, the, my crazy days, my crazy mornings, whatever the hell goes on in my nutty house. I tell him I got a cup of coffee, I have to go to the bank, it's raining, whatever the, the uh, I have to take Lauren here, here, uh, Staples, I have to go to Staples, go watch my other blogs. Just, 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 just came back from a printer, I take her to go to the printer, now she has to go to a printer. Doesn't Staples print? Right. So she picks me up, I go get a cup of coffee. I want to get a cup of coffee, it's $1.75 for a cup of coffee. She has to go to Starbucks to get the coffee for $3, $10, $25, $150 cup of coffee, you know they sell at Starbucks. I get $1.75 coffee, and I don't even want to spend $1.75 for the coffee. It's coffee, it all tastes the same to me. <laughs> She pulls up. I say, I say, all right, I'm gonna th thank you. I'm here. Go get the coffee. I go out and get a cup of coffee. I come back in the car. She says, why do you buy me coffee? After all the coffees, all the years I've bought you coffee, why do you ask me if I want a coffee? Now, you know, I have to do this blog. I didn't respond. I can't respond. I can't do it. I was talking to my friend yesterday. I was telling him, he watched the blog about that uh, dinner. I never had a dinner with Andrea. No, whatever the blogs were that I, when I do these blogs, you think I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I do them and I forget. The people, fans, recognize me on the streets. Oh, I love your blog. I watched the blog about this, about the car, about the wife, about the kid. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know what I said. I have to go back and look at it. Some guy said it was hysterical when I was talking about Donald Trump and something about a vagina. <laughs> I had to watch it again. I don't know what I said at the time. I don't know what the hell I'm saying now. So she's hollering at me that I got a cup of coffee, but I didn't ask her if she wanted coffee. No, I did not respond. I can't respond. So I was talking to my friend yesterday. He said, when I talked about we were invited to dinner, and Andrew said, I'm not going to dinner, and you're going to go to dinner. I don't want to go to that restaurant. And I said, I, I didn't respond. I, 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 and my friend said, why don't you say to Andrew, Andrea, our friend invited us to dinner. Let's go wherever he wants to go because he's paying for the dinner. My friend said this to me yesterday. And I said, he says, why don't you say that? I said, I can't say it because that's normal. Well, my friend invited me to dinner, and this is the previous blog, never got a dinner with Andrea, or whatever it was, like Red Buttons would say, never had a dinner, got a dinner, whatever. You have to go watch the blog on YouTube. I said, my friend invited me to dinner. He said, you want to go to dinner? I said, okay. He said, where do you want to go? I said, wherever you want to go, I'll go wherever you want. That's normal. When he said, ask Andrea where she wants to go, I said, Andrea, where do you want to go? I'm not, I want to go for, for a pizza, I want to go to Camaras. He says, I don't want to go to Camaras, so it's bound with a Laterna. She says, I don't want to go to Laterna. So my friend said, why don't you just tell her, go wherever he wants to go. He's paying. I said, I can't say that because that's a given. The, my friend invites us to dinner. He said, wherever you want to go, I'll go. Go wherever you want. I'll wherever you take us to dinner, wherever you want. That's normal. So when Andrea's saying she doesn't want to go to the place he wants to take us to, I can't say to Andrea. I can't do it. It's not my personality. It, it's not normal. I can't respond to stuff that's not normal. I can't do it. As Andrea says, there's everybody else, then there's me. And that's true. Because my friend said, what do you mean you can't do it? He said, you got to do it. That's what you would say. Andrea, he's inviting us out. Let's go where he wants to go. But the fact that Andrea's not thinking like that, I can't respond to that. I, I told my friend I was, at, I was at the casino. And I, I, I go to this crazy casino on Saturdays to relax. It's 40 minutes away I drive, 20 minutes away Andrea drives. It could be 45 minutes away I drive. And... I put a quarter in, I push the button, I put a quarter in. It's, it's a crazy roulette wheel. It's just very relaxing for me. I'm like a zombie looking at the machine, pushing the button, pushing the button. That's, everyone, they're all zombies all looking at this place. It's like an old age home for... It's a, and it, the people that are, are so decrepit or so old, the average age is deceased. That's how old this place that I go to this casino. I'd rather go to Niagara Falls, but I have to take the bus and I, I need a bankroll and, uh, and I gotta come home at 4 30 because I'm actually at the dinner Saturday night. It's, I wanna relax when I'm there. I don't wanna rush. I, it's very relaxing to me. It is. So I. I and another blog, which they tell oh, the, the people that take my chair that understand English, it's a whole other blog that I'll, I'll do about that. It, that's also very funny. Why am I gonna, that's my nutty world. So I go to the men's room, I come back. Some guy's playing with the roulette machine. I come back, he says, Bet on black. You gotta bet on black. Bet on black. Put $10 on black. Bet on black. $10. You gotta put it out $10 on black. How do you respond to that? I didn't say, here, put your money in, I'll bet $10 on black. No, that's the response. But I didn't say that because I wouldn't even go that route. I'll tell you that because I get value out of that. For me to say to this guy, here, I'll, I'll bet, put $10 on black and I'll push the button. For me telling him that, I get no value. I get value now doing a blog that hopefully you'll send this blog and I'll go viral, make me the big digital star that I should be. But I didn't say that. I said, I'm betting these two numbers. I'm going to push the button. No, you got to bet on black. But put it, put 10, I'm telling you, put $10 on black. You got to bet $10 on black. I, 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 because he was communicating with me, I didn't ignore him. I said one line. I'm, I'm betting these two numbers. I'm going to push this button. Put, I'm putting a quarter in. I'm betting. No, it's $10. You got to put $10 on black. I put, I put my voucher in. 
And I had the, the, the two numbers I was been betting before I went to the men's room. And I pushed the button and red came up. I said, jeez, I should have put $10 on black. He's oh, you would have lost if you put $10 on black. <laughs> now, the, the point of that story is I couldn't respond to it. I couldn't respond largely. I couldn't say, who the hell are you to tell me to put $10 on black? I'm playing this game. Don't tell me what to do. Go put your own money on black. I'm not going to say that. That's normal. That, that's how you respond to somebody saying to you, put $10 on black. What the hell does he care what I play? It's my, I'm playing. It's nothing to do with him. He doesn't even know who I am. Even if he know who I am. Don't, what is he telling me how to play? How to play? <laughs> There's only two things going to come up. Let's say black come up. What would he say? I told you black was going to come up. 